Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review slash demo of the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation and the HD Lifting Concealer. So I do have a, a demo for you guys that I'm going to lead you into here in a few seconds after I go over the packaging um, of both of the products. So we're going to talk about, let's talk about the concealer first. So the concealer is the e.l.f. HD Lifting Concealer and this is in the shade Fair, which I'm not sure if you'll be able to tell. Um, this is the lightest shade that they do have and it retails for $3. Um, and it's just your typical wand um, that you just, you know, put on wherever you have redness or under your eyes. Um, that whole situation, and as you can tell, it's a lot darker than me. So if I do decide to use this um, as concealer, I have to put it underneath my foundations, um, except for this one. So um, I already know I'm going to get yelled at. For some reason, it looks okay in the camera. When in person, I can probably get away with it in person, but it's really, it's pretty dark, and I'm really white, and I don't know if you can tell the difference as I can tell, like, I'm in 100% natural lighting, um, so, yeah, but the packaging is just a sleek, um, square packaging with the black cap, this is what their professional line is what they used to call it, I don't know if they still call it that, um, and you do get .22 fluid ounces, of product. I've had this for quite some time now and it's lasted me a really long time as far as I'm concerned um, as far as concealer goes. Concealer normally is like the first thing I have to replace over foundation or anything. So um, like the things I go through the quickest normally is concealer and mascara and everything else is like it all goes out at the same time which is crazy but this one's lasted me a really long time and I've been using it every day under my eyes for concealer and on my eyelids to prime my eyelids since I'm out of an eye primer. Um, so there is a good amount of product in here. It's a nice creamy product. It's not too thick um, or too thin. It does have nice coverage as well. I would say it's a light to medium coverage for the concealer, um, but when you layer it over with a foundation, it's a-okay. Um, and then for the foundation, the packaging is really nice. It's in a glass bottle. It's nice and sleek. Um, and the cap is just, pull it right off and there is a pump and the cap like matches up and lines up. This one it used to line up, but it no longer lines up. I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, so that's like one of my pet peeves. I hate when things don't go back the way they came. It's just, I don't know why, but I'm just bothered by it. And the shade I have in this is Sand. Which is clearly not their lightest shade, but their lightest shade is still too dark for me. But I purchased this because I found it for $1.50 on clearance at Walgreens in December. It is now March. Um, and I wanted to just buy it because I wanted to do a review for you guys, and that's what I'm doing now. Um, so that's why I have this shade. They did have like the next darkest shade, and I was like, no way, I will look crazy. Um, but this does have an SPF of 15 in it, which is nice, and it is an oil-free foundation. Um, and how many... I don't know how much you get in here. It doesn't tell you, but... Well, this is their studio line. I keep saying professional, but it's their studio line. Um, so I don't know how much product you get in here. It doesn't tell me that information at all. Um, let's go ahead and switch on over to the demo.
definitely doesn't match in the video. Um, consistency for the foundation is nice and thick foundation. Um, this does retail for six dollars. Um, normally, unless you find it um, on clearance, like I did, it is a nice thick foundation. It's not like running down my hand or anything. And I would say this is a medium to full coverage. If you have dry skin, this is definitely going to attach to any little dry patches. So you either want to moisturize really, really well or avoid this foundation altogether. They don't have a very large selection. I know that they probably have six shades and that's not enough in my opinion, but they are a drugstore brand, so that's why they have limited shades. Um, but I, I think it's a decent foundation. If it matches your skin tone, it covers everything flawlessly. And it doesn't look too shabby either. Um, I mean, mine doesn't look the best because my skin is really dry. And I powdered it just to see if that would help. And it didn't. But in some places where I'm not dry, it looks great. And that's why I'm saying it's okay. Um, so that's how I feel about it I mean I feel like it does look decent like if you had like perfect skin and not too dry um, and not too oily I think this would be a great foundation for you hope you enjoyed the video if you did please thumbs up the video subscribe if you're not subscribed to be notified of my videos I upload Tuesday Saturday and bonus uh, bonus video throughout the week yeah um, and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys